From the beginning of September to the end of November, I live in the Elk Mountains. I eat, sleep, breathe elk. As a full-time outfitter and guide, I get to encounter elk throughout the season. They're up there howling at the moon. While I do get to be out elk hunting nearly every day, my own elk hunting is often regulated to a few short days off here and there throughout the season. I'm simultaneously a full-time elk hunter and a weekend warrior, always looking to put a little elk meat in the freezer. I just love this feeling of being alone out here. Just big country and probably no one else in it. Just gonna glass this valley for a little bit. It looks freaking good, but I haven't heard a beep. I haven't seen much sign. Ah, that's all right though. First day warm up, you know? The nice thing about elk hunting early is it generally only gets better as the old rut progresses, but I also have a bear tag and a deer tag, well, white tail tag here, over the ridge mule deer. Heck, I even have an antelope tag where I can drive within two hours and be antelope hunting, so I have a lot of options. It's cool though, I also have a cow elk tag here. So, I have it just a Pocket full of tags, man. Looking wallow. It's been this wallow has been used, but it's not been used recently. Maybe about a week or so. But they've been in here. I got a bull right now. Following me, going crazy. Sounds good. I'm gonna drop down and uh, get the wind right. So the bull's just taking his cows right now. I'm just dogging him, trying to catch up. But I've run into this real thick shit, slippery, slow go. Oh shit. Whew. Treacherous. And now I'm gonna run into a pile of deadfall. I wish there was a better route. Man, I can just smell the bull and the cows. They walked right through here, it's just rank. Okay, let's go through here. I stopped hearing the bull, but I know it's because he dropped over the ridge. And I know that because I've called in a couple elk in this very same spot. So, I got the tech advantage of knowledge. Okay. I'm just gonna get above them because they're gonna push up. Okay. Dude, this is just gonna be the roughest footage you've ever seen. It was a pretty action-packed morning. I didn't get very close, but finally got some bulls bugling. 
There's quite a few different bulls in here. I'd say maybe four. Um, they just, hey, there must have been a hot cow or something because it keep, kept pushing it pretty fast. By the time I got to where I thought they would be, they were already down in the bottom. Um, I can, I just heard a bugle back there again, but the wind's kind of weird now. So I'm gonna go all the way back up around, drop down and then try to come back up to them. The wind's going just like a weird direction this morning. After an encounter the morning before, I head back and find myself right in the elk at sunup. The bull I was after walked through an opening just out of range and started to push the cows up the mountain. In order to get a shot, I'm once again going to have to dog the elk in hopes of catching up. Unfortunately, I did not catch up to the bull again that day. The rest of my archery season was filled with calling in elk and guiding hunters. Although I didn't connect on my few days off, I did manage to call the bull I was chasing into range for a client on his first successful hunt. It's the end of the season, the last day and I still have a cow tag in my pocket. I had a great year guiding a lot of successful hunts, but now I'm in meat mode. I'm planning on trying to target a young cow or calf. It's the best tasting and easiest packing, especially solo. I'm planning on hunting deep, but I want to be able to get it out in one trip alone. So I load up and head in. It's the last day of the season. <clears throat> it's been really foggy lately, just really bad conditions. I've got a group of elk up in this burn, long ways, 
A lot of snow, a lot of deadfall, but it's my last chance. I don't see a bull in there yet, but I do have a cow tag as well. So I think if I can uh, find a cow that gives me a shot, like a, a younger cow, um, I'll probably try to take it, bring home some good meat. You know, I, was, I passed up some bulls this year, just didn't see what I was looking for. It's the last day, might as well fill the freezer with some of the best meat on the planet. So last two raw give it a try it's been a it's been a pretty long season with all the guiding and everything so i think that um yeah i'm just gonna give it one last major push and uh see if i can't come out of here with an elk just keeps moving in and out so I can see for a little bit and uh, and then it just socks right back in I was hoping to catch something feeding There's some nice fresh snow it's just super quiet today I thought maybe I'd cut some elk tracks but I haven't seen any tracks yet uh, I'm just gonna keep working my way um, along this finger here maybe catch something crossing it's really my only my only hope I did see a set of wolf tracks uh, earlier this morning but that's pretty much all the action. A couple mule deer in the fog, and that's it. Uh, the visibility does suck today. It makes it tough. If you can't spot them, you can't shoot them. So, just looking for any sign of elk. Not a lot of not a lot of sign here. I haven't really got a lot of snow to push the elk into this area yet either. So, you know, it's kind of a crapshoot. We did get a little snow last night. I was hoping that there'd be more up here. Seemed to kind of be pretty isolated to one area, which wasn't here. So that was a lot of rambling, but I'm optimistic. I was looking for a big bull. I kind of passed up opportunities on some smaller bulls earlier this season, and now I'm thinking ah, it's about that time. I don't have much time left to hunt. It'd be nice to get a bull down. So probably increase my success by lowering my standards today. Especially if the weather's gonna be like this till the end. Could be tough.
My first shot hit further back than I would have liked. Luckily, the elk stopped in a clearing and a quick follow-up shot put her down. Cow down, last day. Tried to pick the smallest one in the group. Better for packing, good for eating. eating. Last day of the season, last afternoon, got into a group of cows, no bull. I can shoot a bull and a cow, so I decided to take this cow. This is going to be incredible eating, so I'm really excited to bring her home. While I had the opportunity to be out the entire 10 weeks of elk season, most of it was spent taking other hunters. I would not trade this lifestyle for anything. The experiences being in the wild are ones that I cherish more than anything. And on the few days that I have off, I find myself right back out there with a gun or bow in my own hands, enjoying the experience that I'm glad to share with others. While we always dream of finding that big buck or monster bull, some of those memorable hunting experiences happen when things don't always go just right, but you find a little success on a long, snow-filled last day.